Hi again, everybody. Dave Stevens here for Watering Seeds TV. And yeah, this is episode two, but we have got a jam-packed, filled show. And of course, I got to bring in my friends and brothers, the guys who are all part of this amazing effort that we do at Watering Seeds. I've got Michael Carnavali joining us. Michael, how are you? It's great to see you, my friend. Great to be here, Dave. Sounds like we got a lot going on today and great energy. We're looking forward to, uh, to this show. It's uh, something we've been looking forward to for some time. And the man who's been on a mission from day one who started watering seeds, uh, Brady Mazzola. Brady, how are you, my brother? Always blessed with heaven's best, baby. So tonight we've got so much to talk about. We've had a great couple of months where Brady and I had the opportunity to go down to California and be part of a, a mindset conference. And then, of course, the fun thing that we got to do was, of course, uh, be a part of Comedy for the Cause, which uh, we uh, worked with Give Bucks on that event. And we're going to be talking about Give Bucks in this show. Like I said, an action-packed, filled show with so much to talk about. We're going to get to it in, in a minute. But, uh, Brady, again, it's it's been great, these experiences that we've had again making connections but also sowing those seeds for watering seeds so yes absolutely dave you know we're uh, at watering seeds we're we're investing in each one another building each other up and uh, building up the kingdom and uh just excited to be able to provide uh much needed wellness support uh for those who need it the most all right. Well, we've got, as we said, the rest of the show to get to. We're uh, going to run down here a little bit of what we've got. I had an amazing opportunity recently to be in Norwalk, Connecticut, where I was a part of a dedication of a new wellness center for veterans to help them with PTSD and to have all those kind of actions and opportunities to live a normal life. And that's what Watering Seas is all about. Also, we'll take a look at uh, Give Bucks and we'll have a special guest, the man that has created Give Bucks. He's gonna join us to explain what this amazing pairing is that we're gonna do that not only can help us for our charities, but it's something that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And of course, joining us is Ronner Williams, the son of Richard Williams. And he's got a pair of sisters, Venus and Serena Williams, who also have a movie coming out, King Richard. And Brady, you have a personal relationship with Ronner. Tell us a little bit about what we should expect from that interview. Well, you know, Ronner and I go back since 2018. They had moved from Los Angeles to Houston. Um, his daughter, Daniela, uh, uh, and I worked together for about a year. They had moved here and um, to pursue a professional tennis career and uh, just continue to be great friends. And uh, uh, he's working with us closely on the wellness initiatives, and uh, uh, so that's that's just been a personal friendship and continuing to grow that and to uh, working with the suicide prevention and everything we're doing at Watering Seeds. Him and Daniela just uh, love them like family, and I'm excited about the King Richard movie. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, uh, I hear it's great, and uh, what a story, a remarkable story of, uh, of, of trial to triumph there. So. Yeah, and it's great that Ronner joins us. And Michael, for you, we're also going to talk about the mindset. Can you give us a little preview of what you want to talk about later in the show? Absolutely. You know, in every day, every day in, in our life, so many veterans are coming back into uh, the life that they lead here. And we know that mental and wellness uh, health are the most important conversations to have. Uh, we're we're going to be part of this community that really is going to change the way they act and react health and well-being wise. And we're going to bring a lot of resources to, to the table to really make a difference because that's really what it is about here at Watering Seeds. And, and we're just about sharing and giving and most importantly, uh, giving them what they need to, to get healthier and, and do better. All right. So an action-packed show. We're going to get to it just after we take a break to pay some bills. So this is Dave Stevens, Brady Mazzola, Michael Carnavale. You're watching Watering Seeds TV. Stay with us. When you step back here, see these? You kind of want to put your feet on those because that's the plate. So put one foot here and one foot there. He's going to throw it, you're going to hit. <laughs> Do you see what happens at these kind of camps? I'm Dave Stevens for Pro Stance and these tools are amazing, especially with special needs kids who don't really know how to play sports. You put these down, they step in, and it takes care of the rest. It's magic. Let's just see the results. Now, you see these pro stance things on the ground. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that, and what are they like? Uh, no, sir, I haven't, but they're good because, I mean, you got to get to a good balance spot, and it just shows you, like, you can do it. Now, we've got these crazy things, uh, these pro stance things. You saw those a little bit earlier. What'd you think? 
uh, you know, you introduced me to them. I think they're pretty good for getting a nice little shoulder width apart, staying and get some traction, you know, just getting off that one back foot and trying to step out and drive the hips through it. It gives you a nice little block to set your whole foot on. So I think they're a pretty good invention. I think they should have came out a while ago, I think. What are your thoughts about pro stands? <sighs> invaluable. One word, invaluable. I mean, tremendous tool to use from disability dream and do levels. T-ball, little league, right on up through. Welcome back to Watering Seeds TV. And earlier this summer, we had this amazing opportunity to be a part of Comedy for a Cause. And that was where we went to San Diego, had some comedians, including myself, doing stand-up comedy to raise money, but more importantly, to work with a great new company called Give Bucks. Thanks for letting us be a part of Give Bucks and having that wonderful night. It's, it's great to see you again. Likewise, good to see you. And I, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> So, Ken, we've talked about uh, pairing with you guys at Give Bucks, and I'm going to show everybody a little bit about what Give Bucks is. But first, explain how you got involved with Give Bucks and what this app is all about. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, you know, the platform is pretty simple. You know, I, I wanted to put together this this technology platform that is centered around philanthropy. You know, allows people to be benevolent. You know, it's got kind of a humanitarian aspect. Uh, 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 and, uh, and all in one. And it's just a simple, we call it a lifestyles app. Uh, we just want people to live their lives, but never forget about those that are, that are less fortunate. And we do it, it's like part of our DNA. Every time we eat, we want to make sure someone else is eating. Every time we buy merchandise or, you know, clothing for ourselves, we never want to forget that uh, maybe someone didn't even take a shower today or uh, someone um, you know, slept under a bridge. And there's lots of different really cool opportunities um, that come, come, come in our lives, but we can give back, you know, watering seeds being one of them. So we're really, really excited about uh, the platform. And, you know, I just wanted to do something that I think that can leave a legacy and give back. And that's why I'm excited that Brady brought us into it. Brady, how did you discover these guys? Well, I actually met through a mutual friend, uh, through Bill Brown, actually, who's been a longtime friend, uh, supporter of watering seeds and does a lot of work in the community. And, uh, you know, I've been, we've been approached with many, platforms, uh, fundraising platforms over the years, but I've never seen something quite so unique as Give Bucks with the way they have it set up where you, every purchase you make is supporting a charitable purpose. So um, it's a great social enterprise with over 100,000 uh, major merchants and uh, what Ken and his staff have done is just tremendous. And we're excited to, to partner because we know holidays are coming soon and people are gonna be spending a lot of money shopping and they can save money and support charity at the same time. So. It's a meaningful partnership for sure. Well, it's so easy. So let's show everybody out there how easy it is. Let's be honest, shopping is a part of our everyday lives and who wouldn't love getting rewards and cash back every time you spent money on everyday purchases? Plus giving back to your favorite charity each time you did? Introducing Give Bucks. It's the all new free invite only lifestyle app designed for everyone that loves to shop, share and give. Everyone can benefit from using GiveBucks. You can now shop at over 100,000 nationwide participating locations, including restaurants, retail stores, grocery, entertainment, wellness, and even more. Every time you use GiveBucks, you'll earn real cash back along with giving back to your favorite charity. Download the app today, available on iOS and Google Play for free. Make sure you have your personal invite code, shop, share, and give. And when you share your code, you and everyone you share your code with gets rewarded. Join the largest growing community of givers worldwide. GiveBucks, where it pays to give. So, Ken, we see how easy it is, but it's tough to get people who haven't done something that aren't familiar with it. So, again, take us through what you do and how we can benefit these charities all across the nation. Yeah, so think of it this way. Uh, you know, in the Western world, the pendulum's swinging and more and more people are starting to make, make pay for their goods with a mobile device. Um, you know, when I'm overseas in Asia, that's how the majority of people are doing it. And I know that pendulum is going to swing here. So it's really as simple as downloading an app. You have to be invited by, by, by an existing member. So find the invitation code of someone that invites you, download the app, and it's a quick sign up. And you just want to go shop at a merchant, just click shop, go to Nike, go to this place, go to that place. And when you're at the checkout stand or even online, 
you just type in the amount that you're going to pay, click pay, and let the let the app do the rest. And in this day and age, even Brady and I are using these apps through Dunkin' Donuts and things like that. And 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 Brady, I mean, it is a no-brainer how easy this is. But the benefits that Give Bucks can just automatically help with stuff that you're buying anyway. Right. I mean, consumers are going to continue to consume, right? And then with this model, uh, you know, portion of every of the proceeds will benefit Watering Seeds. Our invitation code is Watering Seeds, so we'll be able to um, have that. Um, uh, automated for the consumer and they'll purchase uh, uh goods and services as, as usual and uh it's a win-win-win every uh the three-way the golden triangle everyone benefits with the and, ken, nonprofit and the consumer and ken for you you know it's it's a it's a business but yet you're doing so much good for people i mean and the bottom line that's got to feed feel real good for you yeah no you know it it, it really does feel, feel good it's a kind of a legacy play for me I think um, I really understand the power of a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and it adds up in aggregate. I mean, this is we're talking about big money. Um, this is why Visa, MasterCard, American Express, these big companies are billion dollar juggernauts as the three cents, 19 cents, 14 cents, $1. thirty-seven, all off of um, everyday transactions. So I wanted to kind of take that same ideology and incorporate it here and make sure that charities are benefiting from it. I mean, you'd be surprised. Uh, you have a meal like a Rusty Pelican, which is next door. Spend a hundred dollars um, with your friends and family, just living your life, and you know, forty-seven cents, a dollar thirteen, can go to a charity of your choice. Imagine, um, you know, uh, forty-seven cents doesn't sound like a lot of money, but that could put rice, beans, and a hot dog in someone's belly, and that's important to me. And that's one reason why we put this platform together. Well, it's pretty awesome, Ken. And as we wrap up here, thanks again for joining us. One, again, how can we download the app? And two, how can they get more information on GiveBucks? It's really simple. Just get um, an invitation code from an, from an individual, like in this case, Watering Seeds. I mean, you can go to any app, app store, uh, go to the App Store, go to the Google Play Store and download the app. Um, and you can type in, when it asks you who, who referred you, you can type in the code uh, Watering Seeds. Thanks, Ken. We're so excited to pair with GiveBucks and, and Brady. I mean, it's a no-brainer how easy this can help everybody. Like I said, I'm really excited about it. Ken's very genuine, and I just um, I admire his um, his authenticity and uh, what he's uh, created is very unique and innovative. And I'm just I, the upside potential is unlimited for what we can do in terms of the uh, creating commerce to support our charitable uh, purpose. And speaking of charitable purpose, when we come back, I was at a great event dedicating a new veterans building to help people here in Connecticut avoid those things with PTSD and suicide. But coming up, we're also going to bring in back Michael Carnavale to talk that mindset, health and wellness. Stay tuned. And you're watching Watering Seeds TV. It's Watering Seeds TV with your host, seven-time Emmy-winning sports journalist and motivational speaker, Dave Stevens, Watering Seeds CEO, motivational speaker, and philanthropist, Brady Mazzola, and our amazing wellness and life coach, Michael Carnavale. Each week, we'll help you motivate your mind and your heart, as well as inspire others to keep that mindset and plant that seed in everyone's soul. With interviews and stories with some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment, as well as those who've overcome so much and continue to give back. We'll show you that insight that you can't find anywhere else. That's Watering Seeds TV. It's what we're all about. Welcome back to Watering Seeds TV. And recently on Veterans Day, I had the opportunity to head up to Norwich, Connecticut, where I was a part of a dedication for Easter Seals as they put together their Veteran Wellness Center that is going to be an amazing opportunity for these veterans, not only to have a place to go, but also to learn a skill, to learn an opportunity how to cook for themselves and to take care of themselves. Let's check out that opening day. An amazing day here in Norwich, Connecticut for the Easter Seals Veterans Rally Point ribbon cutting. And today this ceremony was amazing. Lots of dignitaries, senators, representatives, and of course the veterans that serve the ultimate price. And what better day than on Veterans Day to open up this amazing facility. Let's take a look inside. Uh, Kevin Brown, retired Colonel of the United States Army, uh, member of the board of Easter Seals and the Veterans Advisory Committee. No, well, it's an industrial grade kitchen, right? So it's the kind that a restaurant owner would want. It's got the, uh, the walk-in freezer.
for storage of cold goods. Uh, around the corner, there's a couple of pantries with dried goods storage. So th it'll be used, it will and already has been used to cater events out here in the open space, in the conference space. But it's also been used to teach meal prep classes right here at this counter. Uh, healthy eating habits, those kinds of things. And we have folks on staff who are actually trained and, and able to do that kind of thing. Having a facility like this, which uh, really covers the whole landscape, of ways for people to kind of retool themselves as they get back into the civilian population, but also doing it in an environment that's welcoming and that also um, you know, is, is populated by people that are similar to themselves um, is clearly the best strategy um, to make it happen. Um, what Easter Seals is doing is they're doing it in a complex that is eye-watering in terms of you know, the quality of this space and um, the, the comfort level that I think people are going to feel who um, Easter Seals is reaching out to. We have people who want to come in and just work on the machines. They can come right on down the line here. We have the hardcore heavy lifting people. Uh, we also have all of the equipment needed for the new Army physical fitness test. We made sure we had all that. Right down the street, we have the Army Armory right here on site, the National Guard. So we've made it very clear to them that if they have any issues at all, not passing their PT test, they can come on up. We told their commander, we told their first sergeant, come on up and you can get your troops ready to go here. So there are three lanes and there are three routes to the top in each lane. This is the first time have to get out, the veterans uh, have something to do, and they're respected because it's, uh, it was quite an experience. I was a draftee. I got that letter from the, uh, the, the president. Greetings from the President of the United States. Your friends and neighbors have selected you for the armed forces. I said, I thought I had better neighbors and friends than that. But it's something I will never forget. You grow up fast, you learn respect and discipline. And I thank the United States for giving me the opportunity to serve. And this kind of rallying point provides a point of care for veterans who discover, maybe long after their service, that they need the hand up. It's not a handout, it's what we are, our veterans. <laughs> Well, this amazing idea by Easter Seals, Capital Region and Eastern Connecticut finally came to fruition. A wonderful place, but more importantly, these veterans now have a place to come work out, learn a cooking skill, or even get a job. Those opportunities are what our veterans need. Thanks for that report, Dave. Michael, you know, we can see that the, the challenges that our military veterans face as they transition from uh, military to civilian life, and we know that uh, the government is uh, not, a, not set up to be able to take care of them. And sadly, we're losing over 22 uh, veterans to self-inflicted wounds a day. And uh, hence our important initiative to provide that mind, body and spirit uh, wellness and rehabilitation support for them. And uh, I'd like to, maybe you could speak to that on how important that mind, body and spirit growth and development is. And uh, maybe you could talk to tell our audience, um, uh, get, provide some more solutions and support. From, with your insights. It's absolutely. And yes, it is a staggering, uh, what we call statistic. I hate to use the word statistic, Brady, but yes, over 20 veterans a day are leaving us uh, to self-inflicted uh, situations. And, and we're really here to help change the narrative, you know, take the stigma away from the mental health issue. Because again, when people feel like they're, they're cornered into this mental health concern that they're dealing with, obviously they need a place to sort of get away or resources that take them away. I mean, in order for us to raise this awareness, we need to foster a community of engagement. Uh, we have to improve 
improve and, and really understand more. Because if you're going to have great intervention and you're going to provide for these in, invisible injuries in a lot of instances and, and emotional stresses, you know, I come from a family of veterans and my dad was a veteran of the Korean War. And it wasn't until many, many, many years later that, you know, I was able to talk to my dad more about his experience and, you know, what he went through. And I learned a lot as a young man. My dad was older when he had me. So uh, my dad was close to 40 years of age and, I, and, and he was from that generation that didn't say much. But in the end, as I got to meet many of his friends, who were even World War II veterans, I learned a lot. And I also learned a lot that people need help, Brady. And you, you understand the importance of, of providing people the right resources. And, you know, Watering Seeds is all about providing the right resources. And when you think about the needs uh, of, of basically giving people regeneration, right? Regenerating their, their minds and their bodies. Uh, there's a whole a plethora of needs. But when you think about uh, nutrition, nutrition is a very, very, very big part of a, a healthy, well-balanced direction of diet and teaching people how to improve uh, their ability to uh, to sort of repair and, and, and really get back into the swing. A lot of times people go into uh, military service where they don't necessarily have all the good uh, skills and resources. So when they go through a lot, they really are it's like a double whammy and we want to help that and you know a lot of times it's all about just the mental health and taking them off certain types of medications and putting them uh, into other medications but here at watering seeds we're going to provide a lot of different resources we're going to provide resources for the veteran and also for the veterans family I think and Brady you and I've talked about this so many times the importance of family connection and what family is there uh, can make a difference and if everyone's on the same page uh, we can really help you know nutrition is a very powerful powerful tool uh, it is the medicine uh, of the soul right I mean it is truly what's going to help uh, regenerate and, and give the body what it needs and, and here at watering seeds we're going to provide that I mean it's not just giving them information but we're going to provide them the the, the right uh, tools that will be available to them uh, you know it is very necessary from a nutrition standpoint to to provide the brain what it needs every day because as you know from their injuries in the past and some of the things they're struggling with as they're trying to integrate back into society uh, nutrition is usually left to the side of the road you know we found a lot of veterans and a lot of people that are dealing with the, the wounds are actually just unfortunately not knowing what's good and what's there for them and uh, we're about that and Brady you've done this so many times in, in many years here at Watering Seeds where you you've opened the door to, to to the right resources for veterans but now we're going to take it to the next level and if I can I'd like to talk a little bit more about what that really means and what wellness means you know I, I think a lot of people are, are missing misconstrued about what wellness means in other words it is it is about getting a person to a place where it is an absence of illness you know when people are struggling with illness it's hard to look at the word wellness but to get to wellness you have to have growth and growth requires resources people need to educate and people need to be supported then they find balance and that's really the story of what wellness is and there's different aspects uh, there's social, which, as you know, here at Watering Seeds, and, and we talk more on every show, we have a social aspect. We're connected to a lot of the social connectors. And then emotional, you know, where we can take people through all these these uh, additional resources that are available. And then we use the term intellectual. I mean, educating people. You know, when there's not enough education, it's hard to to intellectualize your need. And then the physical side. You know, you we've done so many events uh, at uh, Watering Seeds, events for Ball for the Cause and uh, comedy for the cause and anything that can get the physical mind and body connected and then very importantly we surround our uh, story here in the wellness wheel with spiritual you know our connection with with our savior and our connection with all the resources we have spiritually is so so important and then occupationally you know there's so many people in so many occupations uh, that are looking to make change and we'll provide as much resources as we, as we possibly can uh, a couple of nuances ready we'll be adding in the new year is the uh, experience where they'll have uh, resources available, uh, such as products that they'll be able to use, and all natural resources uh, that are built plant-based. They'll have a, 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 you know a access to a coaching model that will be supported in a virtual club. Uh, they'll even have a, a, you know resources to be able to test change in their body from a health and wellness standpoint. So when you think about all these resources, they'll be available to really optimize their life and really start to make change. You see, an ounce of a, you know an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I think if we can prevent a lot of the things that are happening currently, we can start providing them the answers they need. So you know I've said a lot in the last few minutes, but we're exposed uh, to. Some 
many amazing people that have so much need. We're motivated. We have the energy and we have the whole team here coming together to make a difference in the community. So excited to be here and part of the team, Brady, and really take this wellness to the next level here at Watering Seeds. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Appreciate that, your great insight and that wonderful information. And we look forward to expanding our programming to offer the much needed veteran wellness solutions and support to improve lives, prevent suicides. Up next, we got my dear friend, Ronner Williams joining us, the son of King Richard and brother of Venus and Serena Williams, uh, will be joining us regarding the veteran wellness initiative and much needed suicide prevention programming and support. Stay tuned, you're watching Watering Seeds TV. Hello, I'm Brady Mazzola, the founder of Watering Seeds, and this is Watering Seeds TV. And I'm very excited today to be with my good friends, Ronner and Daniela Williams, to be discussing all things wellness and suicide prevention. As you guys know, um, we're dealing with some real challenges today and as it relates to mental health. And I've been fortunate to become, uh, build a strong relationship with uh, Ronner and Daniela. And uh, we're just happy to have you guys join us today. And I'm grateful for you guys. I love you. And uh, just looking forward to making a difference. You know, there's a lot of hurting people out there. And that's what Watering Seeds TV is all about, helping others grow mind, body, and spirit. I know we've all been through some challenges, but uh, champions adjust. And uh, here we are to discuss how we can be part of the solution. You know what, man? You're 100% right, Brady. I really believe champions do adjust. Mm. You can always make something better and better and better. Well, Ronner, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, for our viewers and listeners uh, who don't know your background, uh, that William name is that's very well known, especially with a movie coming out. So give us a little of your background before we delve into your history and why uh, Ronner Williams is such a big name. Well, my history, obviously, I'm Ronner Williams, I'm a motivational speaker, UFC fighter, big time wrestler. I used to wrestle all the time. Do a lot of uh, help with the suicide prevention out there in California. Um, help with tennis out there. And what I like to do right now is, you know, that movie's coming out. It's called King Richard. My dad's in it. My my sisters are in it. Um, there's a little smart part about me in there and my family. Uh, my family is, uh, um, I'm Richard's son. And so there's about eight of us in there. A lot of people don't know us about well, and you've so, made your own name and, and you've come along uh, a, a long way, but you've also had some of your own personal struggles, which you shared recently with Brady and myself, uh, that life isn't always perfect. And again, we look at ourselves and think, oh, well, with that name, life's got to be amazing. But you've come through some of your own struggles, which you can be proud of, but now you have a voice to help people. You know, life isn't perfect. And we have the social media that makes it look like it's real perfect. Facebook, and you just put anything up there, it seems believable, but it's not. I, I myself, I struggled, and I had a lot of struggles through my life. Struggle number one, it's this is not the order that it happened, but was a great struggle. I went to prison. I spent about three and a half, four years in prison, and, and life is not always what it seems to be, but one thing I do know about life, no matter where you go or no matter where you're about to go, never give up hope of who you are or who you can become. Because mm. once you give up that hope, when I got out of prison, life seemed like it was over. No one wanted to help me out. No one wanted to give me a job. They used to say, you're just a freaking convict. You're a thug. You're just a menace to society. I felt, honestly, I felt bad about who I was. And I felt bad about committing that crime. And Ronner, I wanted to know, you know, you've turned your life around. You're doing so much. Uh, but when you were at that lowest of lows, I mean, people just don't understand. How do you get back from thinking about trying to kill yourself? What do you do? What can you do to seek out help? What can you do to make sure that you don't succeed on doing what you wanted to do? When you're at your lowest, the only thing I can do is tell you what I did, man and this works for me, it's going to work for everyone else, is don't fucking give up on who you are. Once you give up on who you are, then your life is done. What I did is I went out there and I seeked help. Are you guys there? Yeah. I seeked help, and I, I start reading that Bible. I start getting around myself that were more positive people than around me. 
I started asking people such as Brady Manzola, Tom Jones. I even started asking Daniela Williams. All these people are mentors in my life. Hey, man, I'm having a hard time. I'm really having a hard time. Well, I remember um, my friend, he came to me, says, I, I was in tears. I was in tears, bro. This is no lie. I'm in Vegas. I'm in tears because I feel like I'm helping everyone else and no one's helping me. And how can I get help? Because I'm, I'm in tears. I said, I'm feeling like I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. He says, Ronner, it stops whenever you want to stop. All you got to do is put your hands out and it stops. Rock bottom doesn't exist. Rock bottom, it just keeps going on and on and on. It never ends. It ends when you decide it ends. And he says, you got to figure out that day when your rock bottom is going to stop. I says, today my rock bottom stops. From this day forward, I will do what's always best for me. I may not like it, but my rock bottom starts stops from here. Every day. It wasn't a step by step. It was a second by second hmm. that I struggled. Yeah, real quick before we let you go, have you seen the movie? Is, did you live that life or is it just total Hollywood? I'm not going to comment too much on it. I don't want to spoil it for anyone else, but there's a there's some Hollywood in there and there's a lot of realistic in there. And uh, have I seen the movie? Yes, I have. And you lived it. <laughs> It's a great movie, and uh, there's a lot of stuff on there that they couldn't even put in the movie. There's a lot of stuff in there that uh, it was. It would have if they could have put everything in that movie, you would have been watching a five six hour movie. I have this old saying: that my buddy Les Brown always says this. If you can look, if you fall down, hopefully you fall on your back, because if you can look up, that means you can get up. And if you can get up, nothing, nothing can stop you from being that great person who you are. Get out there and be who you are. Always be who we are because we are strong people. I mean, st I tell people stay motivated, stay amazing, but don't change who you are just because someone else doesn't like you. All and right, really Ronner, thank you so much for joining us. Dave Stevens, Brady Mazzola, Michael Carnavale coming back. Stay tuned. Wow, what an amazing story, Brady. And you know him on a personal level. You you must be just inspired by seeing his life. I really am. I, I You know, Ronner's just, his authenticity and vulnerability, um, just to turn himself inside out, is, is um, you know, says a lot about who he is and uh, speaks to the, our soul, you know, because of um, the suffering and pain he's been through. He's very compassionate and empathetic person. And as you know, his um, trials in, in prison and, and, and dealing with those challenges and, and really, you know, the scripture says, you know, God wants to give us beauty for ashes. And, and uh, you know, he rose up from the ashes and uh, now making an impact with his testimony. Uh, it's, it's really remarkable how, you know, with the champion mindset, we can turn a negative into a positive and, uh, God makes all things new. And that's, that's the mindset we have now, you know, we adapt and overcome and that's, I haven't seen King Richard film yet, but I mean, that's Venus and Serena's story. Yeah. I mean, talk about, you know, adapting and overcoming adversity and doing what no one's ever done before. So I just, and, I'm inspired by that. And Michael, I mean, we do talk about that mindset, but to go to prison and to have that mindset that you're going to come out and change your life. I mean, what does that say about a human being and, and what they have inside? Well, I, I just, the first thing that comes to my mind is, wow, right? Williams on Williams, right? A person that really looks at the introspective of who they are and where they started and where they've come, how they've come through to the other side. You know, you talk about wellness, you know, that's like an act of wellness. A person is able to take a tough, tough situation, go through, you know, a situation that very few people in the world have ever experienced and come out the other side and make a difference in people's lives. So, you know, again, wow. That, that is really the difference maker. And, and I know when people tune in and they listen, they're going to be highly inspired and that's going to really dig deep and that's going to save lives. And that's what this is all about. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, looking forward to uh, great, great responses. What a great show. We see veterans get to improve their lives. We find out about you teaching us about the mindset. And of course, Ronner's story. Uh, it, it's been great. And we've got a lot of good things coming up. But don't forget, 
right, Brady, about give bucks and our association with uh, Ken and those guys, it's such a great opportunity. And it's simple. Real simple. I mean, you know, consumers are going to purchase products and services, especially with the holidays coming up. And we have an opportunity for them to purchase and while supporting our charitable purpose. They can save money on uh, with over 100,000 major merchants and uh, a portion of the proceeds will benefit watering seeds uh, to uh, support our uh, wellness and rehabilitation programs. And what's that code again? Watering seeds. You That's have right. To Pretty simple. And uh, so as we wrap up, we got some exciting things coming up uh, in the future. I think we are going to the Super Bowl. We've just found out the league has approved us uh, again. So we're going to be heading out there and uh, doing our coverage from there and, and hopefully inspiring and, and giving everybody an opportunity to see uh, what Watering Seeds is all about at that Super Bowl level. So, uh, Brady, any final thoughts as we wrap up here? I'll go back to the metaphorical meaning of Watering Seeds and – and when a seed's planted underground, it's in a dark place. And uh, but that's where the growth takes place under underground, where you build those strong roots, and then eventually you break through. Ultimately, if we persevere, we will receive, and that's what we do with watering seeds. We build each other up uh, with positive energy, interaction. We stay healthy and active in mind, body, and spirit, and uh, that keeps us going and growing, never plateauing. All right, Michael, your final thoughts. Fantastic. You know, we, we don't plateau here. We continue to grow. And as Brady said, this is all about making a difference. And we're here to we're here to give people the difference, provide them the resources that are necessary. You know, all these programs and all these commitments we've made, it's about changing one life at a time. So we're motivated. We're excited. We're here to make a difference. And uh, like I always say, here we grow. I love it. That's right. I love it. Well, guys, that was an action-packed filled show. We always say how are we going to top it, but somehow God lets us, uh, gives us the strength to uh, continue to motivate and inspire and do what Watering Seeds is all about. So continue to follow us on all social media. Don't forget about our Give Bucks program, and we'll see you guys next time. Happy holidays. Happy everything that you guys celebrate. This is Dave Stevens for Brady Mazzola, Michael Carnavale. You're watching Watering Seeds TV. Continue to follow us and watch us.